It's working. Dude, that's awesome. No, that's really good. That's really good. Hold it. Be stronger. Do you want a hand? Okay. Nice. That is awesome. I'm glad that one's strong enough. That yeah, good. that's that's a good thing. We're not gonna have too much more weight. Hey, 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 watch it. Alright, watch Don't it. Watch no, this it. is good. This is good demo. This no, is good it's demo. Gonna short it. It's gonna short it out. Yeah. It's gonna short out the room. Alright, smart idea. idea. Alright, no. yeah, everybody clap, everybody clap. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> So here we have NEMA 17 steppers in sync running on 12 volts off the Arduino and it can lift, it can pull the rail forward and backwards with the weight of two batteries on it. So they might be powerful enough. Alright, so this is our 3 Degrees of Freedom robotic arm for our vending machine. It uses three 12 volt Torx's servos for each joint, and then normal RC servos for the claw. The claw is meant to grab soda cans. And we're using an Arduino to control the servos. We're using this controller here to control all the, ser the bigger servos, the Torx's servos. And then we've got a um, picture of Greg. We have a controller center here where we can slide sliders to control the big servos. And then the little ones are controlled through Arduino. And all three servos are hooked up in parallel to the 12 volt power supply. The tiny servos are powered by the 5 volts on the Arduino. And yeah. Say hi, Dan. This is the soda can arm test. We have full control of all joints with Maestro controller. Dan's manual driving it. Full is uh, <laughs> Alright, go. Go. Oh, gorgeous. Now we don't have control of the claw. What well, we do, we just don't. All right, all right. All right, can you uh, do something cool? All right, this is our touch screen for our vending machine. Right now we're running it off of a 12 volt battery. And this is a homemade, or a 
written GUI by one of our guys, you know, Mike, and there's Lewis over there. Say hi, Lewis. Hi. So here's how it works. You select your soda, and then you insert your dollar, or you can cancel. There's different choices. If you want this, different choices, you can hit back. And if you were to select a soda, A lot of noise, so no, alright. Say hi. Hello. This is our bill acceptor, and we finally got it to work with the Arduino. Sure we did. We take pin, the blue wire, put it into pin, digital pin 2, and then we take the purple wire of the harness and put it into ground. Then we, in our code, Your well, my, <laughs> in our code, we run the serial monitor, set pin mode, the digital pin 2 to input. We tell the digital pin 2 to be high, and then every time it accepts a bill, it makes the digital pin 2 low. And then we just uh, added up the, the lows to make sure that a bill was accepted. And every time a bill goes in, it says bill accepted. And now we're going to watch it in action. You are? Yeah. Cool. Hey, right, ready? So I'm going to put a bill in. Bill accepted. We just Whoa. hacked it. We hacked it. Clap. Hey. So all those plastic things hold soda cans, and this is the side compartment. And the side compartment is where the can comes down like this. Here, hold on. The can comes down and then rolls. It won't fall on the ground, but that's how it works. And this rail thing is where the arm's gonna be mounted and it goes forward and backwards to get different things in the, or different rows in the arm, yeah. Cool. Say hi, Robbie.